Today we are hitting the streets and making community connections right here in Phoenix and today is Giving Tuesday. It's a movement that was started over a decade ago with this simple idea of doing something good and giving back. Our Rachel Cole is out this afternoon helping raise money for Phoenix Children's Hospital and Rachel this is always such a great cause every year. It certainly is, Tram. Look, the phone's blowing up already as we get ready for a busy afternoon. We have the local royalty up here in front and amazing volunteers taking your calls right now. The number is simple, 602-933-4567. You can also donate to give to pch.org. And we want to share a very um, awesome story about Yalitza, a toddler who overcame a very tough beginning as she was diagnosed with a severe congenital heart disease. Jonathan McCall has that story for us. Say hi. She may look like your average, adorable toddler, but the truth is, Yalitza has been through more in her first year on the planet than most folks will endure in a lifetime. She has had two surgeries, open heart surgeries. When she was just a few months old, an undiagnosed heart defect almost took her life. And I remember that day when we were driving home and I heard her cry and it was kind of fainting away and I turned around and took her out of her car seat while we were driving and when I grabbed her in my arms, um, she literally was passing away. Maricela's husband turning the car around and taking them to Phoenix Children's Hospital. Doctors there confirming Yalitza was indeed dying right there in her mother's arms. The little girl and her mother stayed at Phoenix Children's for months. Maricela's comfort coming in her two passions, faith and music. The hospital's music therapist, Cindy, brought a piano from storage to Yalitza's room, where Maricela played it each and every day. I would play music, I would sing to her, and I say that it helped her out a lot in her process. And it also helped out my process with her. So touched by her tunes, the hospital offered Maricela to record one of her songs for the other patients. And at that moment, I dedicated a song to Yelitsa, talking about just that all I can do for you is pray. That was my only strength for you. There is hope for you in these troubled times. There is hope for you in these troubled times. Yulitsa isn't out of the woods just yet. She still faces the possibility of yet another surgery in the future. But for now, with the love and encouragement of the staff at Phoenix Children's Hospital, Maricela and her family now have the hope that Yulitsa will go on to live a full and extraordinary life and share that hope with others. There's hope always. There's hope. And if you believe that there's hope, that there's a higher person that does miracles and does answer a prayer, it happens. She's the living proof of that. Did not bury the lead at all. We just let out the big guns with that emotionally uh, driven story. And we're here with Cindy Steen, the music therapist here at Phoenix Children's Hospital. Um, you, Each child, of course, is unique. How do you kind of meet the parents halfway when you're, you know, invited into their situation? Yeah, so as music and art therapists, we, we go into each patient rooms and really meet them where they are in that particular moment. So it's different in every room, um, but there's always generally lots of fear and anxiety for the most part. Sure, and when, you know, you have 170 programs here at the hospital, so how does this one play such a major role? You said it really does have an effect on, on the child's well-being, their health. Right, it really does have an effect, and we are that interdisciplinary team that um, we offer the support in healing, not through medical, but through music and art. So oftentimes we walk into a room of a little child that has so much fear and anxiety, 
and um, we say, um, do you want to play drums with me? You just ask him a simple question. Just a simple question. Oh, it's just uh, amazing. Yeah. And how long have you been here with the hospital? So I've been here a little over two years. And just impacted so many families and, and beyond, I imagine. Yes, all the way from NICU all the way up to our older um, teens and adults. That's wonderful. Cindy, thank you for what you do. And you guys can keep donating. The number is 602-933-4567. Standing by are the beautiful volunteers to take your calls.